Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to make some improvements on a previous video where we created uh, this little uh, cinematic sequence here. And in this one, we're going to use some custom events and blueprints to trigger some, um, some particle effects and some lights um, so that we can trigger them from sequencer whenever we want. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. All right, so to get started, let's open up the blueprint for this capsule. Um, it's already a static mesh that's been wrapped in a blueprint. This is uh, how I already have it uh, set up for the scene. I knew I was going to do something like this, so I went ahead and uh, just wrapped it in a blueprint. That's usually a good idea to do when you have static meshes in your scene if you think you're going to do something uh, a little bit uh, more advanced with them later. This is just a uh, capsule model that I got from Kepash 3D, their spaceships collection. Um, I like them. They, they look really good. They're not super high poly. Um, I guess they're game ready from my experience. Uh, but anyway, on this one we are going to add a little bit of light and uh, a Niagara effect so that we can simulate like an engine blasting a little bit. And then I'll add a sound effect uh, either in post in DaVinci Resolve where I may come back into this blueprint uh, in the next video and I may uh, spawn a sound uh, at the location for that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do just yet, but that's not going to be part of this video. We're just going to do the light and uh, the Niagara particle effect for this video. All right, so let's just add a simple point light here and um, let's see, let's move it up into place so that we can see it. Uh, I'm not really sure this is actually supposed to be an engine, but we're going to use it as an engine. It looks like it could very well be. Um, let's, uh, let's see, let's make sure that it's movable and then let's change the color a little bit. Let's make it kind of blue. Uh, I've been watching The Expanse lately and I really like the way that those engines uh, look. I may do another video on trying to get that same effect with, uh, with Niagara. Uh, probably won't be quite as good on this one. I'm just going to try to make this one quick just to kind of demonstrate the, uh, the principle here. All right, so next let's make the Niagara particle system. Um, let's create a new folder. And let's see, let's uh, add a new Niagara particle system. Or Niagara system. And we're just gonna choose uh, some basic defaults here. I'm, I'm really not great with Niagara just yet. Uh, I have aspirations to be better, so uh, Hopefully I'll learn more, make another video about it um, later on, but for this one I'm just going to kind of keep it simple. Uh, just kind of show a little something just to kind of reflect uh, that there might be, you know, an engine burning uh, or something here or um, uh, some thrusters or something like that. So let's see, let's uh, go through and we'll choose these things here. All right, so let's give it a name. And um, it already starts out with something that's similar to what we're going to want. Um, it's being affected by gravity and I don't think it will be in my other scene. I think I have that turned off. Um, so I will just go through a few of these properties here. I'll speed this up a little bit so that you don't have to watch me go through all of this. I'm going to change some of this uh, in just a little bit more. This is just kind of to get started. All right, so that's good enough. So now let's add this to our blueprint. I'm going to attach it as a child to the light so that if I move the light then uh, it will go to it. Uh, I need to go and position it of where it's going to be and then once I have that it will be attached to the light. Get it rotated around so that the, um, the particle spray is coming out uh, the back. Alright so let's check this out in the context of the scene. I think that looks pretty good. That looks kind of like an engine so let's uh, uh, do a little bit more changing here on the particle. Make sure we've got this positioned right. Um, you have to like move it each time that you want it to actually show there. So now let's get into the other part of the video and that is actually triggering these uh, through a custom event in the blueprint from the sequencer. So here's how you do that. All right, so in your sequence, uh, and we built this in a previous video, so I'll link that um, up above and in the description, uh, you wanna add a new track uh, for the the object, for the, 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 for the blueprint uh, that is in your sequence. You want to add this uh, event track uh, and you want to select a trigger right here. We're going to be triggering this custom event from this. So you go ahead and do this and let's see, let's create this track. And um, it took me a few minutes to figure out what to do here, but uh, I eventually realized you have to create a keyframe. And once you, once you do a keyframe, then you can go to the properties of that keyframe. You can um, adjust the time, you can set what event it is. And so this is 
um, you know, uh, basically I'm, I'm selecting the blueprint here and then I'm selecting um, the custom event that I've already created and I'll show you uh, in just a second what that is. Uh, and so this is basically creating a sequence event for the sequence director blueprint. Each sequence has its own blueprint, the sequence director, and that's creating a trigger uh, to do that. All right, so let's switch over to the blueprint for the capsule here, and we'll start with the construction script. We're going to set the intensity to zero for the light um, to start with, um, so that it's only changed uh, for the engine burst. And so this is the custom event here. It's called engine burst. And uh, let's see, I'll pause here so you can see what this looks like. All right, so in this custom event um, for the engine boost, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to get a reference for the for the engine light. We are going to set the vis the uh, intensity of that light to I think 10,000 or so. Uh, that looks pretty good with our current uh, camera settings. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get a reference for the uh, for the engine blast uh, Niagara system and then we're going to activate that and uh, that basically just triggers it and then we're gonna have a fast one second delay and then we're gonna set the intensity of the light back to zero and that is our engine burst and so now that we have this keyframe uh, on our sequence timeline we can duplicate it and we can move it around wherever we want and so everywhere that we put this keyframe we're going to get uh, a little engine burst. Um, so this is a pretty easy way once you've got it set up the first time to to add it. Uh, I even added it to um, uh, where you're launching the uh, the capsule from the main ship uh, in the previous scene. Um, I just added it there as well. So make sure to ask any questions in the comments uh, and I'll make sure to uh, try to answer them. And subscribe if you like this type of thing. I try to do weekly Unreal Engine videos. Um, so thanks for watching.